The year is 2018. The city of Washington, D.C. seems the same as always, except a strange rumor is spreading through the town. I first heard the rumor from my friend Paul, and I thought, this can't be real. A bunch of circus freaks have taken public policy jobs in D.C.? It sounded nuts. But then, I thought of all the public policy analysts I have met, and I didn't know what to believe. This is documentary filmmaker and podcaster Marty DeBergi, who set out to investigate whether the circus freak rumour was true. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Come on, surely you know how all the freaks ended up in DC. Mostly it was the movie It. That really killed the clown business. Then Ringling Brothers shut down. Freaks needed jobs, they needed some place to fit in. And they do fit in here in DC. Well. Almost. Yeah, I take off the makeup for media appearances, um, pill briefings, meetings with donors, apparently it scares the donors, whatever. You know, I've been putting on clown makeup to go to work for 15 years. That doesn't just stop, okay? I'll always be a clown. Now I'm just a clown that talks about transportation policy. It's a performance, it's art, and it's the craziest gig I've ever had. I love it here. We try to keep a low profile for the most part, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of freaks in DC now. We're a tight network. Uh, we call ourselves uh, the Circus Punks. Uh, we got a listserv, happy hour, and everything. And we're just like any subgroup of DC policy analysts, except we're circus freaks. So we've got like actual marketable skills. I just don't understand how you got my name. Look, I'm just trying to tell you a story. I'm on your side, no judgment. But I'm not a circus freak, really. I'm just your boring, basic, average DC pup. You forgot your doll. Oh my god, Jarvis, I'm so sorry. Who's this guy? Rob Reiner's Ken doll twin? The more Marty investigates, the deeper he's pulled into the strange little world of circus freak policy analysts. I'll be honest, I mean, I'm sitting here eating a salad, like, like I'm a salad guy. But that's not me. It's not my truth. You want my hamburger? Oh yeah. I want your hamburger, a plate, a fork and knife, this can when you're done. I ate a whole tablecloth once. It's who I am. I'm the human trash can. I guess my main question is, how did this all happen? Who was the first to come to DC and say, I want to work in public policy. Well, I don't know the whole story. Let me tell you about what I do know. The human trash can tells Marty about a legendary circus freak who was such a free spirit, such an individualist, that he found the circus too limiting. He wanted to challenge. He wanted to bring color and creativity and liberty to a place that needed it. So he came to DC and other freaks have followed. Look, I'll be honest with you. I played cruise ships, I performed at Burning Man, but this thing, ting thing, hands down, the weirdest job I've ever had. Right. People think we're nuts. Try having a few drinks with these public policy folks. At least we're freaky on the outside. You walk into any public policy organization in DC, or like a fancy think tank gala, right. All of you in your nice suits and dresses, you're thinking you're so normal and we're the circus freaks. But you're one of us. Yeah, one of us. One of us. One of us, one of us, one of us.